Hello, Charlie Rodeman here, Austin Criminal Defense Attorney, and today I want to talk about the rules of an EPO. Now, an EPO is an emergency protective order, and it's something a judge can add, usually after a family violence assault arrest, based on the facts they hear from the police and sometimes input from the complaining witness, also called the victim. It sets out the prohibitions, things the person cannot do. The EPO will be in writing and given to the defendant, and it will have an expiration date from one to three months. Now an EPO is separate from bond conditions, so there really are two sets of rules you must comply with if you have an EPO. Now you must read your EPO very carefully and ask your lawyer if you don't understand something. The most common EPO rules are stay 200 yards away from a specific address or a person, or no contact with this person, or sometimes no threatening contact with that person. Now this can be a serious problem for people, especially ones who live together. So here are six key things to know about an EPO. Number one, an EPO will always be read and explained by the judge before you're released from jail. Now they wanna do this because they don't want you to later say you didn't understand. Number two, the rules of the EPO can only be changed by the judge. And it can sometimes take weeks to get these rules changed if they agree. Number three, there are no exceptions to the rules, okay? If it says no contact, they mean no contact. You can't text them, you can't write them a letter. If they say stay away 200 yards, you can't go over to get your toothbrush. You can't do anything that's within 200 yards. And there's no exceptions for like Christmas, okay? Or your birthday or her birthday or whatever. There are no exceptions to rules on the EPO. And number four, if you are caught breaking the rules of the EPO or the bond conditions, it's a new crime and they will never trust you again. Everything will get much harder. Number five, a complaining witness can request that the EPO be removed or changed, but the judge has the ultimate say whether that happens. Number six, do not underestimate the judge, prosecutors, or police. They are often looking for violations, and if you're trying to be clever and they catch you, it can be real trouble. Now, my advice in this situation is you have to problem solve through this, especially using neutral third parties. We often have clients that say they have to get something from their house or this protected location, and I say, well, get a friend to go get it, someone who's not under the EPO. Often they'll say, I've got to communicate this. Well. Have your friend communicate it or have your attorney communicate it. You really just have to problem solve around these rules. And even though you may think the EPO is completely unfair, you must accept the situation for the time being. And hopefully your lawyer can convince the judge to remove the EPO or change it to something more acceptable. In the meantime, you must comply. All right, I hope that helps.